Dabedi is in insipidus. Dabedi means to siphon or to pass through. And insipidus means tasteless. So there is something tasteless that is passing through. Dabedi is insipidus means the passage of very large volumes of dilute urine. So this dilute urine is tasteless and is very large amounts that's more than 3 liters in 24 hours. It is a state of antidiuretic hormone hypoactivity. And antidiuretic hormone hypoactivity involves a partial or a complete inability to concentrate the urine. It results in excessive water loss from the body. ADH facilitates reabsorption of water from the distal tubules and the collective ducts of the nephron and is responsible for balance of fluids through determination of that urine concentration. It can also reduce fluid loss through the sweat glands and by stimulating vasoconstriction of the peripheral arteries. That's why it is known as vasopressin. ADH is synthesized in the hypothalamus and transported to the posterior pituitary gland where it is stored until release. And diabetes insipidus is a disorder that is associated with ADH activity as we have said. Without the appropriate activation of these vasopressin receptors on the nephron cells, fewer water porins will be established, that is the aquaporins. So there will be no facilitatory water reabsorption to the kidneys and excessive water loss and production of large volume of dilute urine will take place. Within a short period, this person will be dehydrated and hypernatremic. And the symptoms for these diabetes insipidus are like nocturia, polyuria, polydipsia, and the specific gravity of the urine is often 1.001 to 1.005. And there will be hypernatremia and this severe dehydration. Children who have this diabetes insipidus will be crying, irritability, growth degradation, and hypothermic together with weight loss because they are losing too much water. The production of urine with a low specific gravity and low urine osmolarity together with high plasma osmolarity are key features in this DI. Dehydration features such as reduced tissue tagger and darkened eye sockets, altered consciousness and seizures can be present in these patients. And there are four types of diabetes insipidus. We have a neurogenic or central diabetes insipidus and this one occurs as a result of deficiency in the pituitary ADH secretion. The second one is nephrogenic DI which occurs because the kidney tissue is not able to respond to the antidiuretic hormone signal. There is primary polydipsic diabetes insipidus which occurs as a result of suppression of antidiuretic hormone by now excessive fluid intake. And lastly, there is gestational diabetes insipidus and also occurs during pregnancy because of excessive destruction of this antidiuretic hormone by the placenta. And for you to diagnose this, the diagnostic approach you use is a careful history, blood glucose levels, and absence of glucose is the one to rule out diabetes mellitus because some features will overlap those of diabetes mellitus. And 24-hour urine collection, DDAVP challenge test, that is an ADH analog one known as desamino 8 d arginine vasopressin or desmopressin. So this test is known as desmopressin challenge test. Water deprivation test. And during conduction of this water deprivation test, you have to collect blood in a tube with enzyme inhibitor to prevent ADH, which is being degraded by the placenta vasopressinase when collecting it in pregnant women. Hypertonic saline infusion and MRI of the plane to identify normal pituitary and a pituitary with a blood spot. And the treatment of this diabetes insipidus, you have to treat the cause as normal as is in medicine and fluid replacement with dextrose, not more than 500 to 700 milliliters per hour. Family members may need to be tested and cancelled. In this case, you have to manage with a long-term hormonal replacement with desmopressin, which is a synthetic ADH analog and clopromide to reduce diuresis and sometimes carbamazepine which promotes the release of antidiuretic hormone. Clofbrate which is used to treat hyperlipidemia has also antidiuretic effects so can be used in managing this diabetes insipidus. 
The thiazide diuretics are just hydrochlorothiazide that are sometimes used in case of mild diabetes death because these medications potentiate the action of antidiuretic hormone. Also, potassium sparing diuretic like amyloride can be used, and any treating nephrogenic diabetes in severity will consist of thiazide diuretics, mild sodium depletion, and non steroid anti inflammatory drugs like indomethacin, ibuprofen, and aspirin. And also, you have to monitor the fluid retention and hyponatremia in these patients.